Number 10. Eating at night makes you fat, don't eat now. It's late. You'll gain weight, as if the scale were ruled by the clock. The body doesn't read time, it reads calories. Studies have confused eating late with eating more all day. At night, you relax, seek rewards, and overindulge. The problem is the sum, not the time. Think of your stomach as a warehouse. It doesn't matter if it's 8 a.m. or 11 p.m. What weighs is the volume of boxes, but I feel like at night it stores more fat. You also feel a phantom vibration from your cell phone, right? Metabolism doesn't have a night mode. You're just lying down. Want to eat late? Eat. Just don't blame the clock for the spoon. Fear of the time becomes an excuse dot 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 and sometimes turns into a hidden snack. If time doesn't control the body, does lemon control the pH? Number 9. Drinking lemon water cures everything internet in the morning. A cold following around the glass of lemon water alkalizes, detoxifies, saves your aura. Your stomach laughs, strong acid, crushed lemon, vinegar, and promises blood pH is controlled by the body. If it changed with a fruit, it would be a case of UTI. What does lemon really do? Routine. You drink it, feel healthy, act better, a citrus placebo, validated by behavior. Honest benefits, hydration, vitamin C, taste. Miracle, no, want health, consistency, not rituals. Drink if it helps you, but without chemical fantasies. If not even lemon is magical, would the sun be? Next block brings sunscreen and a burned ego. Number 8. Dark skin doesn't need sunscreen. I have melanin. I'm protected partially. Melanin is like SPF 10 to 15. It helps. It doesn't shield. UV radiation doesn't screen for tone. In dark skin, the damage appears later. It's sometimes worse due to late diagnosis. A beautiful tan is skin protection, an elegant little wound. Sunscreen isn't a fad, it's foresight even at the window and in LED lights. The 2025 version is lightweight, without white ghosting. Curious, we protect our cell phones, cars, and data. Except for our skin, when the bill arrives, there's no way to format it. Use sunscreen on cloudy days, on a quick outing in real life. If the sun doesn't choose color, does the ice choose a throat? Number 7. Eating ice makes your throat sore a cold glass doesn't have a degree in inflammation. Viruses and bacteria are the ones causing infection. Cold, at most, irritates already sensitive mucosa. Worse, ice relieves swelling and pain doctors prescribe ice cream after tonsil surgery. The brain loves to blame coincidence. You drank a milkshake, you became hoarse. They're villain chosen and forget about the millions who eat ice cream and are fine. Cold is a thermometer, not a culprit. Want to avoid a sore throat? Clean hands, don't share a glass and fewer kisses with viruses. If ice is not a villain, what about the cockroach of the apocalypse? Number 6. Cockroaches survive a nuclear explosion movie scenario. Cockroaches dancing in the ruins. Reality, they tolerate more radiation than humans, but they also die and quickly in the extreme heat of the explosion. The superpower is biological. They renew cells slowly. The damage appears later. Immortality, only in a meme, those who dominate post-bomb are microorganisms, not insects with egos. The legend appeals because nature wins without trying. In practice, the cockroach only survives dot 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 as long as it can. If the cockroach fell, the most disgusting myth remains, spiders in the early morning. Number 5. You swallow 8 sleeping spiders, a line of spiders crawling into your mouth? Invented in the 90s to prove how fake news goes viral. Spiders hate vibrations. Human snoring is an earthquake. The mouth is a damp cave with teeth zero biological interest. The myth sticks because it combines disgust plus specific details equals easy recall. What do you swallow in your sleep, air, and sometimes pride? If you see one near your pillow, it's running away from you. For it, the nightmare is the human. Since danger doesn't live in the pillow, what about the charger? Number 4. 
Using a cell phone plugged in gives you an electric shock you'll die using your phone while it's charging. Rare cases exist with pirated chargers, frayed cables, or faulty plugs. A good adapter reduces the voltage and reduces the risk. Using it while charging is safe if the adapter is decent. The biggest real danger, tripping over the cord or overheating the device. We're dramatic about our smartphones and lax about our 1980 for electrical system. The criteria, original intact cable, good plug, no burning smell. Then it's peace, shop didn't come, then let's break glass hurry up. Number 3. Scrape ice off your windshield with hot water frozen car. Rushing, hot water will do the trick. Physics, thermal shock cracks the glass. The windshield, half awake, suddenly tries to expand, microcracks appear, turning into a web. The correct solution, hot interior air, dicing spray, five minutes of patience. Warm water might even help, but who measures warm at 6 a.m.? The exception that worked fuels the legend. In the end, it's not the ice that breaks your car. It's your rush. If the cold breaks glass, does alcohol raise the temperature? Number two, the body heats up with alcohol a warming dose warms the skin. To steal heat from the body, vasodilation brings warm blood to the surface. The sensation of heat is a real loss of temperature. In intense cold, the risk of hypothermia increases. Socially, alcohol warms up conversation. Physiologically, it cools you down with style. It's for courage, not thermal comfort. Drink it if you want to toast. Not to warm up if even the sensation of heat is deceiving. Imagine space. Last stop, the moon. Number one, the dark side of the moon. There's no such thing as a dark side. The moon is synchronized. It always shows the same face to us, but all sides receive light. The hidden is only what we can't see from here. Probes have shown more craters, more silence and less poetry. The legend persists because it's beautiful. We prefer mystery to mathematics. Like us, we call dark what is only beyond our reach. The light doesn't disappear. It changes sides, fact told, myth debunked. If you want, we'll write the next one without waiting seven years.